Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the latest details regarding Lionel Messi and his contract renewal and the potential transfer of Neymar moving to FC Barcelona in the coming summer of 2021. There is some breaking news that we do need to discuss within today's video. So if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel, welcome to the family and let's get to it. But first, I do want to talk about our sponsors for today and that is the One Football app. The One Football app has always been considered as the best football app you could find within the app store if you are a general fan you would be updated when it comes to any team you would like to see and you would also be receiving some live updates whether they have gone up in the league whether a player within that specific team that you do support have scored they will be notifying you and if you are a barcelona fan right for the majority of us here we would be able to see where barcelona do stand on the league table the transfer news who scored within a specific game and the stats of the player all of this is going to be in one app and the best thing from all of this is that this app is free. The only thing you do have to do is go into the description box that I do have down below. There's going to be a link. You would be able to click that link, then download the app, pick your desired team, and then turn on the notifications. And so again, the link is going to be placed on the description box down below. And I also do want to thank the One Football app for supporting a content creator. But now let's get back into the video. So again, we do have some breaking news. And it says here, according to ESPN, we do have a reliable journalist from Argentina stating that Messi will continue for two more years with FC Barcelona and the club will do everything within their power to sign Neymar in the coming summer. And again, I do want to make it very clear that this source that is stating that Messi could be staying with Barcelona for two more years and Barcelona trying to acquire the signature of Neymar, this source is absolutely reliable. And this is also a journalist that is extremely close to Lionel Messi. Now look, we have heard about Messi wanting to stay with FC Barcelona for two more years. We have heard that Barcelona Barcelona will do everything within their power for Neymar to return back into the Camp Nou. And it is starting to seem more and more likely that this club wants to find an agreement with Neymar and PSG. And it is very interesting because again, like we have stated in the previous videos, Laporta and a few other members within the club, they were betting on Erling Haaland for Erling Haaland to be that next big player for FC Barcelona and for years to come. But what I do believe that we are witnessing here is that we are seeing Barcelona going through a discussion and we have been seeing Barcelona Barcelona go through a discussion and they am talking about the board members. They were having a discussion of should we get Neymar to strengthen FC Barcelona or should we acquire Haaland's signature to strengthen FC Barcelona? Which player does seem the most fit for this club? And I do believe that they were having that discussion and they had their own reasons on why they did pick that player. And eventually these members, the sporting director, the president, the coaches, the staff, they all came into one conclusion and they finally do have an answer. And that is that Neymar is the player to bring Barcelona forward and to strengthen the squad. And here's what's so fascinating about this potential move is the fact that Barcelona not only want to bring Neymar in to reinforce the attack, they do not only want to bring Neymar in to convince Lionel Messi, but they also do want to bring Neymar in because they believe that this is the player. This Brazilian player who is 29 years old, who has played for Barcelona before, they believe that this is the player to bring Barcelona forward for years to come. And it is official that this club are moving away from Erling Haaland specifically only for this coming summer of 2021 and they want to bring in Neymar within this coming transfer window. They believe that this Brazilian player can lead the charge alongside Lionel Messi. And look, it makes sense why the sporting directors and the people that and the people that are working within the sporting department are making this decision. It is because we know that Messi is not always going to be there and especially for next season. Maybe sometimes he's not going to be mentally there. Maybe sometimes he's not going to be physically there. Messi does have those games and we have seen that within the current season. And bringing in Neymar for the next season would just be another option for Barcelona to bring in the necessary results. And I do want to make five key points regarding the potential move of Neymar Jr. to FC Barcelona. Point number one, Neymar to Barcelona, it will work. The transfer of Neymar going to this club, he is going to be bringing results. He has played with Barcelona before and it will work. Point number two, if Neymar were to come to this Barcelona club, we are going to be seeing a completely different Neymar. A Neymar that does not always have to necessarily play on the left wing area. This is going to be a much more versatile Brazilian player. And then moving on to point number three, and that is going to be about the wages. I do think that one of the biggest concerns Laporta and Mateo Alemani are going to have to go through is going to be the wage concerns because Neymar at PSG does earn around a total of 30 million euros per season. I do not believe that Barcelona can give that out within the first season. And I also do not believe that Barcelona would be able to afford 30 million euros and bring that to Neymar Jr. within even the second year. Barcelona is in no position to do that. And that's what's really going to make me question 
question, right? But this is also going to lead me towards a conclusion. If we do eventually see Neymar make it very public that he wants to move away from PSG and that we do start hearing reports of Neymar asking PSG for a move away and to go to FC Barcelona, I truly believe that Neymar is not going to want to go to Barcelona expecting the exact same wages. I do believe that Neymar will want to go to Barcelona to win silverware. And I also do think that Neymar is going to be seeing a wage cut once he does go to FC Barcelona. I do not believe that Barcelona will pay 30 million euros or 35 million euros for this player every season. But if Neymar were to agree to this move, it, it will be because he does want to win titles with Lionel Messi at Barcelona. Point number four, if Barcelona were so optimistic to sign Erling Haaland for around 165 to 180 million euros in this coming transfer window, I do think that Barcelona are very optimistic that they could sign Neymar within the next four to five months. And I also do see Barcelona lending in one player within this deal because Barcelona right now, they should assume that they will need to pay around 100 million euros to 110 million euros for Neymar in the coming summer plus one additional player. That is the deal I believe Barcelona can get done and find an agreement with, with PSG. And then going on towards the last key point, and this is going to be the one that is the most important. And I'm going to be starting with a question. What makes this summer so different from the other summers? Why should we believe that Neymar could be going to Barcelona in this summer compared to the previous summers that we have witnessed? Because we do hear this story every summer and within every winter transfer window. This is nothing new. But here's what makes this summer very different from the rest is the fact that Neymar's contract does end in the summer of 2022. The moment PSG realized that Neymar does not want to renew with PSG and that Neymar wants to adventure somewhere else and most likely towards FC Barcelona, that is going to be the moment where PSG is going to realize we're going to have to sell this player in this summer because there is no way that we pay 212 million euros four years ago only to let him go for free away from PSG in the next summer. We have to get something out of this transfer. And ultimately, PSG are going to be forced to sell in the coming summer and they're going to be forced to find an agreement with FC Barcelona. Because again, PSG cannot tell Barcelona and say this amount of money is not good enough for our player. We're going to keep him. They cannot say that because if they keep Neymar, they're going to let him go away for free in the next summer. So everything does indicate that Barcelona want to see Neymar in a Barcelona shirt next season. And I truly believe that Neymar does see himself in a Barcelona shirt within the next season. But does that mean that we're going to be seeing an easy transfer and an easy negotiation between PSG and Barcelona? We're not. Because PSG and Barcelona, again, we have to face the reality in terms of this transfer. PSG and Barcelona, they do not have a good relationship when it comes to negotiating for players. But that is it, right? Juan Laporta is the man that wants to bring Neymar back into FC Barcelona. This is what happens when you do say that I am going to give Lionel Messi an unrefusable proposal in order for him to renew with FC Barcelona. And that is why we are seeing Barcelona striving for Neymar Jr. Because this is a player that can convince Messi, that can strengthen FC Barcelona, and that can actually bring great results that we know this player could work with this club on the field immediately. And this is going to lead me towards the next topic, which is going to be about Lionel Messi. So one thing is for sure, Messi has stated within even himself that he does want to stay with Barcelona for two more years. And right now he is 34 years old, which basically means that if he signs a two-year deal, that contract could end when he is 36 years old. And here are the latest details regarding Messi and his renewal with FC Barcelona. Joan Laporta and Messi have met for lunch the day after the new president was elected. It was the first meeting. Leo informed that his plan was to play for two more years at a very high level and then go to Miami. But let's remember that statement just for a second, right? Let's keep that in the back of our minds before we do go back into this statement later again. It says here that Messi has informed to Laporta on what his plans are. Let's remember that for the rest of this video is that he informs Laporta on his plans. But let's continue here. It says here that Juan Laporta, on the other hand, clarified that he is convinced that he'll make a proposal that Lionel Messi will like, both sporting-wise and economically. Then we do have Moises Llorens stating that Juan Laporta hopes to convince Messi with a two-year deal that includes an option to renew for an additional year. The idea is to offer a long-term deal so that he is compensated to make up for his immediate salary reduction over the past few months. So we are seeing consistent reports that Messi does want to stay with Barcelona for two years plus one additional year. Now look, Messi has stated before, he has even said within the ceremony when he did win the Ballon d'Oro two years ago, that he would only leave Barcelona if he feels like he is not at that high level and he cannot produce for a club like Barcelona no more, which is why I believe we are seeing that one additional year in the renewal contract of Lionel Messi. If Messi feels like he is still up at that level after those two years, he would add that one additional season with Barcelona. But going back to what we have stated before, we have seen many reports stating that Messi has informed this to Laporta.
Laporta that Messi has said this to Juan Laporta. I am convinced that Messi is asking for one very consistent thing. And I'm going to be explaining what I do mean by this. If we look at the past reports in the past 10 to 12 months, we have seen Man City offer Lionel Messi a three-year deal plus two seasons at New York City, which is at the MLS. Then we have seen PSG offer Lionel Messi a two-year deal plus one season at Inter de Miami. PSG have agreed that, okay, you can play with us for two seasons and then you can go to the MLS as you like. Then if we were to look at the offer coming from Barcelona, Barcelona basically want to give Messi three years plus lending him off to the MLS to be more specific, Inter de Miami as a Barcelona ambassador and to also play within the league. Looking at all of these reports, there is one very big consistency going on here and that is that Messi wants to play at the MLS that is the way that he does want to end his career that is where he believes the final goodbye is going to be at and it is going to be in America in the MLS because out of all of these reports City has offered and agreed that they will send him to New York City PSG has offered and agreed that they will send him to Inter the Miami and the same goes for FC Barcelona they do want to send him to Inter the Miami because again this is what Messi is demanding for every time Messi does negotiate with these clubs he does want to end it in the MLS so hopefully this video does clarify on just where Barcelona do stand with Messi and what Messi does desire from the club. And hopefully this does give you guys a better idea on just where the Neymar saga is at and what we could be seeing in a couple of months. But that's going to be wrapping up today's daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.